Hello Internet. Um, I just want to make a quick video about my 10 gallon tank here, which is currently empty. Um, thinking about overhauling it a little bit and housing a crayfish, which I've actually never had before, but I've always thought that they were really cool looking and uh, really interested in having one uh, in the tank here. Um, currently there's nothing in here, there's just a crap load of assassin snails. Uh, we had bought a few to take care of a pesky snail problem and uh, they ended up breeding and now we have about 40 plus baby assassins uh, in this tank. I don't know if you can see, I have one there and another one there and they're a little bit everywhere, there's some in the back there um, and I never actually realized that they could breed to this point. Uh, to have so many babies and that they would just kind of overtake the tank. Um, there's one kind of floating on the surface there. Uh, originally we had shrimps in this tank. We had uh, cherry shrimp and one day we were changing the water and I noticed that there were no more shrimp. There was actually, they had all been eaten by the snails I'm assuming because they were all gone. If anybody has comments or critiques or suggestions or anything like that, because it will be my first time keeping crayfish, that's obviously welcome. Um, I had com some concerns that maybe this might not be a big enough tank for a crayfish. I, I did a little bit of research online and they say that you need at least a 5 to 10 gallon. Um, and this one is a 10 gallon, or actually I think it's a 9 gallon uh, tank. So hopefully that'll be okay. Not too sure about the plants. I think that they might be casualties eventually. I think that they might have a tendency to eat them or destroy them or whatever. Uh, this piece of wood originally we only had a few tufts of moss on it and now it's kind of grown. It used to have just like a tuft of moss up there and then one uh, right here but now it's kind of grown very nicely over the whole of the branch. I'm pretty happy about that. We could we. Uh, cut off the fishing line that we'd use to uh, secure it in place and now it just kind of stays on its own. There's a few like still pest snails in there, there's one hiding in there. Uh, and I think there's another one up here. I've been having a little bit of trouble with algae, this kind of hairy green algae. I don't know if you can see that kind of growing in the moss. Um, I recently cleaned this tank a few days ago and I gave the piece of wood a good scrubbing to get all of that pesky stuff off and I think that I got pretty much most of it. There's still kind of pieces there floating in there. If anybody's ever seen this type of algae growth or has any suggestions on how I can get rid of it because it's it was pretty much everywhere. Uh, and it's actually in my other tank here. I have the, this is a 40 gallon tank. You can really see it kind of in the moss here and there and really on the wood here. It's kind of like a hairy blue brown. I mean it doesn't look all that bad but I just hope that it's not bad for the fish and shrimp that I have in here. And it tends to kind of latch onto the plants and makes it look pretty ugly. So I have to kind of trim the plants periodically and uh, oh, there's a little shrimp there. Uh, and make sure that I get it all out. I'm Molly. <laughs> uh, and another thing in this tank yesterday, I noticed that uh, my male Amano shrimp, and they're actually still doing it here, they're going kind of crazy. I'm not sure why. I mean, I actually, this tank is due for a water change. I'm going to do that this weekend. Um, but last night I noticed that they're flipping out. They're, they're swimming everywhere. I'm not sure if it's because I have a female Amano in here, maybe they're wanting to breed with her or they're, I don't even know, but they're, they're swimming all over the place and I'm worried that maybe there's something in the water that's making them do that. The only thing that I changed was yesterday I did a big trimming on this tank and uh, I added some water and ever since then they've kind of been freaking out and I don't know why. So that's, that's that. 
But this video is not on this tank. This is really focused on my, my 10 gallon. I just wanted to show you guys. This is a, the tank that I'm really proud of. There's kind of a mishmash of fish in here. There's some uh, neon cardinal shri uh, shrimp. <laughs> neon uh, cardinal fish. There's one diamond head there. I used to have more, but they died off, unfortunately. I have a few rummy nose, which I think are in the back there. There's three of them. And I have guppies that have been breeding profusely. Okay, so I've put in my little rock hut that uh, I put in for the crayfish. I'm not too sure if I like it, actually. It seems to be a little bit crooked. Uh, I had quite a bit of trouble uh, <laughs> getting it straight and getting the pieces in properly and uh, because of the mountain of gravel that I have in there and the pieces of slate that I used are actually not that even so trying to like put them in and get it all straight is not the easiest thing in the world um, but I mean it's simple it's it's a nice little hidey for the crayfish and uh, I guess I have a little bit to step back and decide if I like it or not. If anything, I have a little, um, oh, I'm not sure what they're called, like a terracotta pot. Like, I see that used quite often. I've looked at quite a few videos on YouTube, um, people who have crayfish, and a lot of people say that that's perfect for them. It's a perfect tidy for them. Uh, and I move the grass. I put like a little grass next to it because, I mean, it's already in the tank. Might as well keep it there. I like the greenery. I like the natural look. Um, so I mean if he decides to munch on it or chomp it up, so be it. It's there for him. I actually ripped up off by accident the roots of that one, so I'm hoping that it'll still grow in. The grass tends to be very hardy, so maybe it'll grow back, maybe it'll die. We'll see. And uh, in moving everything around, I noticed, well I think I just kind of disturbed quite a few more snails. So there's like a mini one there. There's another guy here. There's another one on the glass there. Uh, one back there. Oh, there's quite a few there. Oh, that's kind of dirty. I cleaned this yesterday, but... They like to hang out in the back, I guess, because there's more debris in there. Well, there's like a group of three guys there. I don't know what they're doing. They're all chilling. So anyway, yeah, assassin snails still hanging out everywhere in the tank. I'm going to be bringing these guys in soon to get uh, some store credit, hopefully at my local fish store. So yeah, that is our crayfish tank so far. If you guys have any comments or suggestions, if I'm missing something, uh, you can let me know. If you have any advice on how to take care of crayfish, uh, oh, and just as a side note, I plan on only keeping one in here, um, seeing as, well, I believe doing some research online, uh, they say that if you want to keep more than one, you need at least a 20-gallon tank. Um, so, yeah, that's my tank. Let me know what you think about it, and uh, I will update as soon as we actually get our crayfish. So, thanks for watching.